I always start to scan the gallbladder in the midline like this and then move laterally until I can see the gallbladder. As you can see here, I've just swept across and I'm getting a nice view of the uh, gallbladder. You don't always see this uh, due to a bowel gas. This is just an image of the anatomy in more detail. The big problem is actually bowel to bowel. A gas which you have to actually work, work around with some PP people. This view won't work at all. Okay. Whenever I'm actually looking at the gallbladder as well, I always look at the uh, liver and I'm actually sweeping through the liver looking for any intrahepatic duct dilatation, which is very important. As you can see, I'm, I'm just sweeping through the long section. If somebody is very gassy, what you can also do is actually scan uh, an in, uh, inter, intercostally like this. And what you're doing is you're just moving up and down the uh, rib spaces changing respiration. Again, what I'm doing here is actually looking for gross hepatic pathology and also any dilated intrahepatic ducts. What you can also do is compare the echogenicity of the liver to the echogenicity of, of, of the kidney and the echogenicity of the kidney should be slightly less than that of, a, of a, the liver. As you can see here, I'm just moving up and down the rib spaces. The best view though is actually when you turn the patient um, uh, into into the uh, right anterior oblique position which we've which we've done here okay and then i'm just repeating the whole process again so starting from the left lobe and and then sweeping laterally okay i'm just scanning sweeping laterally now and then i'm going to identify the uh, a gallbladder. I'm going to optimize the image here and um, changing the depth, focus, gain. You can also narrow the sector width as well so you can see the um, the aporta in uh, a lot more detail. So what I'm doing here, I'm just looking at the gallbladder, looking at the gallbladder wall, looking for, looking for any stones, looking for any gallbladder wall thickening, looking for any fluid around. This is the fundus of the gallbladder, that's the neck. That's the portal there. Okay, that's one of the renal arteries. So again, what I'm doing here, I'm, ju I'm just sweeping through in long section, making sure that I've seen everything, then rotating the probe, looking in a transverse sweeping right the way through. I'm now narrowing this D sector width down so we can see the uh, gallbladder in, in more detail. This is improving the uh, resolution. Now what we're going to do now is, is we're going to um, have a really good look all the way through and then we'll have a look for the uh, common bile duct. So uh, to do this what you do is you just rotate the probe towards the patient's right shoulder and this opens up the, uh, the uh, gall uh, bladder. This is the IVC, that's the portal vein, hepatic artery, and you can see the tiny CVD along the top. Normal diameter is a six millimeters, but you can also allow one millimeter per decade of her life. And again, this is that image in more detail where you can see the IVC, porta, hepatic artery, and the CVD. What we'll do now, is a measure the a CBD, okay? So that's actually well within normal normal limits. As we said, six millimeters or one millimeter per decade of a life. What you also have to do is make sure is um, uh, if, if 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 it's possible, follow the CBD right the way to the head of the pancreas, as we are doing now. Okay, so. There you go, there's the CBD right the way, all the way along from the porta to the head of the uh, pancreas. And that is how I, uh, I uh, do my uh, gall gallbladder scans. Um, if necessary, we can also turn the patient to cupitus and we can also stand them up to actually see if there's any stones with the patient erect. 